Hello and welcome back. This is Instators and I'm continuing playing Discworld Noir. Discworld Noir, yes. Uh, we are knee deep in the this case. We are probably going to... Come on. Why? Um, let's see. Why my inventory won't open? Interesting. Oh, now it does open. Okay. Uh, hopefully that's not a problem. Yes. Um, we've been trying to find... Come on. Uh, one down. Where's the button? Newton. Monday and um, also Therma. We probably find Therma now, hopefully. Uh, which we also know as well. I've learned that. Come on. Now, now there is something weird. Don't know. Anyways, let's go and check the mausoleum. Uh, There's an inscription. Madame Lodestone, singer and retainer of Lord Robert Salachi, taken from us when her house collapsed, returning her to the rubble from whence she came. Okay, there's something weird going on. It's working slowly. Okay, let's check the slab. A heavy stone slab covered the tomb of Madame Lodestone, and presumably Therma's body was inside. Hopefully I didn't say Therma, I mean Therma. Therma. I tried to move the slab, but it was far too heavy. Okay, I'll check if there's anything else. I don't know what happened there. It seems like everything's... L now it's working perfectly, but there was some l lag? That when I press the button, nothing happened for a while. Anyways, let's try this on the slab. That Stop. wasn't going to help me move the slab. A heavy stone... Hmm. Okay, do I use it on the inscription? My, my. Where did this appetite for destruction come from? Hmm. Do I need to... Hmm. What do I have? Maybe we should go to see Malachite. I'm guessing we can get back to the Thermos place. Yes, it's only a one click away. So let's see if we can go and meet the Malachite. We, I think I had something new. We have Ma Mausoleum, Mausoleum, Uberwald Mansion. Pseudopolis, Octarine Parrot, Pier 5, Wharf, Rodas Workshop, Luton's Office, Cafe Ank. Did we get something new? I don't know. Let's see Rodan's Workshop first. Let's talk to the Malachite. Malachite was the bachelor. Hello again, Malachite. No, don't say anything. I know how you'd love to talk, but I'd hate for you to wear out that beautiful voice of yours. Okay, okay. Uh, do I have anything to tell you? Ah, oh, Therma in... B yeah. Well, I think I found Therma's body. It's in the Salachi Mausoleum. Need to see body. Take me there. Okay. Nice to see someone dealing with the grieving process at high speed. Cut straight to the acceptance. It saves a lot of time, doesn't it? I don't know why I bother sometimes. Not as if he's listening to me. Maybe it'd help if I hit him with something, like maybe a really heavy building. 
Need to see body? <sighs> of course you do. Here's the tomb. Need to see body? Oh no. Hey, it's going to be pretty ugly in there. I mean, she was crushed under a house. That'd mess up even a troll. Need to see body. Well, I can't really stop you if you want to see it. Malachite pushed the slab off the tomb like he was opening a jam jar. Inside was some rubble that I assumed was Therma's body. Uh, frankly, there wasn't much to go on. Trolls are rocks. And that's the whole story. Not Therma. Keep looking. Are you crazy? How could you tell? Not Therma. Keep looking. I was beginning to wonder if Malachite was mad. If he was, I could at least make use of it. Okay, I've got no soul. I must be a heel. All right, I'll keep looking. But I've got a problem. There's this building I need to get into, but I can't do it. I need a grappling iron. A grappling iron, like the one you have. Look, I need to borrow your grappling iron. Do you understand? Give you a hook. You find Therma. That's the deal. I couldn't help but wonder what it meant if that rubble wasn't Therma. Had Sapphire lied to me? I wouldn't be surprised. Frankly, I was more surprised by people telling me the truth than telling lies. Lies flow like water, but the truth burns. Hm, that's not a bad line. I better write that down. Malachite gave me the grapple and left the mausoleum without another word. <laughs> Okay, that worked quite okay, I think. Let's save, yeah. Uh, to be honest, I didn't realize we would get the uh, grappling hook from grappling hook from that. Uh, I had no idea where we where we could find that, but that worked out nicely. Let's check the rubble anyways. The rubble was definitely the body of a troll. But according to Malachite, it wasn't Therma's body. I examined the body closely, but all I could see of interest were the troll's diamond teeth glinting at me. Diamond teeth? Wait, what? The glinting diamond teeth of the troll seemed to lure me like a siren. Oh. Well, okay, so greed lured me like a siren. Either way, I really wanted one of those teeth. All my best instincts told me not to take the tooth, but I just ignored them. So a little bit grave rubbing there, Luton. And now we have hook and uh, tooth. Oh, I bet we're gonna use that on the skylight. Call it a hunch. So we're done everything from here. Um, I was certain that we had a new place. Well, except Überwald Mansion. Pseudopolis, Luton... I'll check the Luther's office, then we are going to the PR5, because that's where we need to go, probably. Uh, no, nothing new. Go back to PR5. Do I want to talk to him? I guess we can see, but... I've got a few more questions. Do I? That's lucky. I'm trying to find out why a troll named Sapphire would lie to me. Any thoughts? That's nothing to do with me. <laughs> well, at least I tried. Uh, Count von Überwald. Do you know anything about Count von Überwald? Sorry. I don't get to socialize much with this job. It's uh, the night work, you know. Yeah, you said that earlier. And, um... Anything else? Mysterious murders, they haven't gone anywhere. 
Carlotta Al Alcali. No, we don't really have anything else at the moment, so there's no time to lose, and we are trying to go to the skylight. Oh, wait a minute, I'm checking one thing. Okay, yep, yeah, it's it's working. Uh, it seems so dark in the screen, so I was a little bit worried, but that I had forgotten to put the gamma on, but fortunately I hadn't forgotten. It was just dark. Uh, Luton. Luton? Let's take grappling iron. Use it on the skylight. Hopefully it works like this. I'm almost certain it works like this. I hope. Mm. All right. Double click. Little glitching there, but oh, there's no climbing there. Okay, I'll just check if there's anything. This is a little bit darker than usual. The skylight set on the roof, an inviting alternative entrance. The skylight was locked tight. Okay. Uh, the skylight. Uh, yes, yes, we know. I could try the crow. Well, I try the crowbar, but I'm almost certain that we are going to use the dude. Or not. I was wrong. I really thought we would open the glass pane with the tooth, but that's okay. Breaking into the warehouse was easier than I thought. But then I was a natural pessimist. Living in Ankh-Morpork did that to a man. What little light there was in the warehouse was coming through the skylight, and shadows played on the walls as I searched for something to help the case. I didn't know what I was looking for, but I was desperate enough that anything would do. And he's not lying, it's dark, it's very dark. We have great, 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 whoa, no, oh no. Let's check. The warehouse was full of crates. I wasn't surprised. That's what the warehouse was for, after all. None of the crates seemed to be of much interest, though. Okay. I have no idea what am I supposed to find from here. Again, this is... Did I... Ah, I think I saw something on the lighting there. It looked like a matchbook. Even my paranoid mind couldn't come up with a reason not to pick it up. Well, maybe if the warehouse is full of gunpowder or gas or something like that. Petrol. Whalebone lane. Uh... Okay, am I correct that that was the only thing we are gonna find from here? The torn matchbook had been found in the Pier 5 warehouse. There was something written on the back of the matchbook, but a corner of the matchbook had become ripped off somehow. I could make out the words Whalebone Lane, but it was clear that something was missing. I'm pretty sure we have the missing piece, A but... beautiful glittering diamond. I tried not to think that I had pulled it out of a dead troll's corpse. More importantly, I tried not to think about the fact that I stole it from the Salachi family mausoleum. Yeah, there's that. The invitation read as follows. Luton, I am anxious to see you again and to find out how the case is going. 
Come to the Von Überwald Mansion on Moon Pond Lane. Carlotta Von Überwald. Okay, I'll just check this through. Although the crowbar was a lot heavier than a set of skeleton keys, it was more versatile. I guess if lockpicks were invented for thieves, the crowbar was invented for the private investigator. It hadn't been easy getting the grappling iron from Malachite. Of course, even getting a meaningful sentence from Malachite was a challenge. Okay, and yeah, I think this is the missing piece. Uh... I'd pulled the label out of the flotsam in the bilge water of the Milka. The scrap of cardboard I'd found in one of the bunks on the Milka had a number on it, either a six or a nine. I didn't think the scrap had been torn off intentionally, but that was all I could tell from examining it. Okay, but can I combine it with the... Uh... Mm. On close... The scrap of cardboard I'd found on the Milka matched the torn matchbook exactly. Bingo! The reconstructed matchbook clearly read Nine Whalebone Lane. I think that's where we are going next. So we are done with this. I'm guessing there's nothing else here. Hopefully. Uh, Great and Skylight. Back to up then. So, where's the... Oh. Right. Um... Well, I might as well save. Uh, come on, and can I talk to you about the whalebone lane? Do you know where it might be? I've got a few more questions. That... Do I ask about... Any thoughts on this matchbook or what's written on it? That's nothing to do with me. Okay. I guess we're done with that then. Where's, where's my... There it is. Um, Luton's office, Ruda's workshop, Cafe Ang. Um, Mausoleum, Pier 5, The Wharf. Um, hmm... I might make a little tour. I'm guessing Pseudopolis is the one place where we get to know about that lane, maybe. But I'm tempted to know what, if anything, Sapphire has to say. Then obviously gonna check the looter's office. I'm guessing there's nothing in the Rodan's workshop at the moment. And then we could check the Cafe Ank if anything happened there. And then go to Pseudopolis. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do now. Ah! Sapphire's gone. The stage where it made me. Okay. Let's go ask about Sapphire from Munkin. I'm back, so I can see. Um. Where is it? Sapphire. Have you seen Sapphire? She's not here. She went off to see someone. Who? Who do I look like? A keeper? Huh. You are useless then to me, aren't you? Do you know anything about Count, Count von Überwald? Do you know anything about Count von Überwald? I know a lot of people. That doesn't mean I want to talk about them with you. Fair enough. Fair enough indeed. Hmm. Nothing else then. I could show him this. Do you know what this is? It's a matchbook. Any reason it might have the address of the parrot written on the back? 
None that has anything to do with me. I knew he was hiding something. The question was, how could I get it out of him? I'm against unnecessary violence. Besides, these skinny types can be tougher than they look. Oh, it was... This place address. Okay, lies. So you don't know Mundy? I've already told you that I don't. And this matchbook means nothing to you. Do you practice to become this irritated? Well, I'm confused. You see, this is Mundy's handwriting on the matchbook, and this is your address he wrote. Shall I tell you what I think? I don't think I have that much choice. I think Mundy is here, but he told you not to tell anyone that he's here. You're just making it up as you go along. Well, I could always go and fetch the watch. I heard they were looking for Mundy too, and if he's not here, you wouldn't have to worry about being charged with hiding a known fugitive. They can get so impatient. Mundy's not a fugitive. How would you know? You little... <sighs> All right, you win. He's upstairs, but don't tell him I told you. I wouldn't dream of ruining your reputation in high society. Ah. Now I know we know this is available on lane 9, because it sits so behind the bartender. Uh, did it... The reconstructed matchbook clearly read Nine Whalebone Lane. Yeah. The recon Basically, let's see. Um, if I talk to him. This seems like a nice place. Yep. No, well it doesn't. It seems like what it is. A wretched hive of scum and villainy. It's tough to get to the top in that field. You could have that on a sign outside. Come to the Octorin Parrot, the most wretched hive of... Are you being funny? Apparently, you look a little nervous. I can't shake the feeling that sooner or later someone is going to get their arm cut off. Well, we already asked those. Yeah, it's... <laughs> the address reads behind that bartender on the window. Obviously on the mirror image, but reads still. I Good thing I came here and good thing I showed that matchbook to him, because to be honest, I didn't realize it would be this place. I don't know if somebody else would have told me that. Don't know, but we managed to find that. Okay, save this game, Wilbur Lane, done. And now we need to go and see Mundy. Upstairs. Oh, that's pointing down, but let's go to there. I don't think. I'd gone to a lot of trouble to find Monday, and now the goal was in reach, it seemed like an anticlimax. I couldn't quite see what Monday was doing when I entered his room, and seconds later I couldn't see anything at all. The last thing I saw as I passed out of consciousness was the floor rushing up to meet me. Right. By the time I came around, the watch had arrived. I must have been unconscious for hours, maybe days. I thought no one could feel as bad as I did. Until I saw Mundy. His feet were bound and his eyes had been gouged out. Either he died of massive blood loss or he'd spilt an awful lot of red wine. It wasn't going to be a good day, I decided. Going somewhere, Luton? You don't leave until we've finished with you. You know where my office is. If you want an interview, you can find me there. I consider you to be the prime suspect in this investigation. You've got to be kidding. I've never been more serious. Never? What do you want with me? I was unconscious throughout the whole incident. We only have your word for that. You could have killed Monday and then knocked yourself unconscious. With what? Your wedding. You're pretty serious then. What? Yes, Novi. Now shut up. Will you explain what you think I did? You came in, mutilated Monday, and then knocked yourself unconscious. Is that all? There's your, uh, your promotion, too. You were really serious then. Nobby, you've made your point, thank you. Shut up. How did I knock myself unconscious? I don't know yet. But you're not a complete fool, Luton. You'd have found a way. Do you have any evidence against me, or is this just part of your ongoing campaign of victimization? It's just, you're always kind of serious. 
You were present at the time of the murder. Your rope was used in the murder. My rope? The murderer steals from me, and suddenly I'm guilty of murder. It's not a bad thing. I mean, you're the commander of the watch, and that's a serious job. Then there's the victim's message. Hazil? How does that incriminate me? It ends in L.E. He could have been trying to write Luton. He could have died before he could finish. He could have been trying to write Lemon. And what is Azzy supposed to mean? I was only trying to help. For all we know, Azzy might mean it was in Mundy's own language. For all we know, Azil might mean, help, someone has gouged my eyes out. You're just guessing. There must be other suspects. The landlord says no one went upstairs after you. It could be the landlord for all you know. Mankin? He's not the type. Anyway, he reported the incident to us. Listen, you've got nothing on me, and unless you're going to arrest me, I'm going to leave. I'm keeping an eye on you, Luton. Consider yourself a suspect for all the counterweight killings. If you're in any way involved, I'll find out. Don't leave town, Luton. He's really got it in for me, hasn't he? He's not a bad person, Luton. He's just a bit... Um... Psychotic? Obsessed? Judgmental? I was going to say overworked. But I've changed my mind. What's this about counterweight killings? Well, and this is in the strictest confidence. I won't tell anyone who doesn't talk to me. The murders have all been a bit, well, odd, redualistic. What? They are involved with a revival of philosophical principles concerning the division of reality into two independent forces, mind and matter. Uh, no. Redualistic. Like what cults do. Reduals. Ritualistic. I see. Like someone was trying to make a point. Yeah. One of the patrician's clerks was killed the other day. Very suspicious. Why the counterweight killings? Eh, uh, oh, I'd better not discuss that. Gotta go. See you later, Luton. A lot later will do. That read dualistic part got me a little chuckle. Um, that's not Azil. That's 3712 We. I think that is, I think this is the room where I need to find something and that got me uh, stuck in the last time when, when I was playing because it was so dark. Let's check the bed. The bed looked neither comfortable nor inviting. Can I use it? It hardly seemed worth searching the bed. The watch had already searched it and frankly it was a pretty nasty bed. Um, that is... It's true. Mundy's corpse. Mundy's corpse wasn't very attractive. I wasn't looking forward to telling Carlotta how Mundy died. Oh, right. Carlotta, I totally forgot her. There was nothing on Mundy's body worth taking. Miss it's in blood. Someone, either the killer or Mundy, had written Azil on the wall in blood. Monday's blood, presumably. I had no idea what it meant. If I had an iconograph, I could have taken a picture of the message. But I didn't have one. And even if I did, there didn't seem much point. I didn't want to become too reliant on technology. Okay, uh, painting. It seemed to be a cheap copy of Spinner's Rain, Cream and Speed. I could tell it was art because I couldn't make out what it was supposed to be. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm completely wrong. It wasn't this room where I need to see it. It's somewhere else. Um, honestly, can I tell Luton what that note actually is? On the wall of my... I didn't know. No, I'm guessing not. It might be Azil, although. Uh, okay, let's talk to Mankin. How does it feel to be a suspect, Mankin? What? You're an obvious choice of suspect because you called the watch. 
You were the first on the scene. Around here, that means it's practically a closed case. I don't see why. You were there when I got there. I was unconscious. Well, I heard a commotion. That's what made me check it out in the first place. Maybe Mundy managed to knock you out before he died. While he was tied and blind? Perhaps he said a particularly offensive word and I fainted. Well, I happen to know that the Watch consider you a suspect. Well, don't forget that I know something that they don't. That you're a liar and you can't be trusted. Just because you can't trust me doesn't mean no one can trust me. Interesting point. Oh, yes, this is an act two. I think there are four acts in this game. Mundy's murder. So why did you kill Mundy? What? I didn't lay a finger on him. You gotta be crazy. Do you have any idea how bad all this is for business? Why would I cause all this? I'd have to be crazy. Vimes told me that you're a suspect. <sighs> of course I'm a suspect. I'm half elf. We're always a suspect. No one trusts us. Okay, fine. Azil? Does the word Azil mean anything to you? Leave me alone, Luton. So, no. Um... The problem is we need to go to tell Carlotta what happened Monday. We don't know who Alkali is and what his ideas are. Malachite... Mm, still no way... Oh, let's ask about counterweight killings. Have you heard of the counterweight killings? You mean, have I heard that there's an unstoppable assassin from the counterweight continent in Ankh-Morpork and he's slaying everyone and everything that gets in his way? If you like. Haven't heard of... Oh. Have you heard of the... You mean, have I heard that there's an unstoppable assassin from the counterweight continent in Ankh-Morpork and he's slaying everyone and everything that gets in his way? If you like. Haven't heard a thing. Okay, there was nothing else. Yeah, I've, uh, I should be really careful when uh, keeping my hand on the mouse. Uh, I wasn't supposed to press the button, but it happened. Fortunately, we didn't miss anything. Um, hmm. Let's save. Um, Okay, 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 what can we do? I don't think we need to go to the Pier 5 at the moment. And yeah, it doesn't show the address in this either. Uh, Warf, probably not. Pseudopolis and Von Überwald Mansion are most likely places to go next. So, I'll those are the ones probably continuing its story, but I'll go first for the Luton's office, then Cafe and can see if anything changed or anything happened. No. Definitely nothing. And then Cafe Ank. Okay. Um What's happening? I guess I never really noticed that the Cafe Ankh had a wine cellar before. Perhaps if they'd run out of drinks at the bar, I'd have been more inclined to investigate. Uh, I knew full well that I wouldn't be able to get down there without permission and the right key. Interesting, because I can't see the golem. I Perhaps if... Can I open it? You can't go around jimmying every door open just because you can. Besides, I liked some ale, and I drew the line at breaking into the cafe's wine cellar without his permission. Okay, fine. So let's go in. Samael, do you want to talk to me? This is quite empty at the moment. I decided not to disturb Samael while he was working. Well, unfortunately, we can't talk. And no Ilsa. Hmm. 
and the captain is also gone. I might go and check the wharf. Can I talk to you anymore? Still here? Not for much longer, I hope. Well, I could ask you about things. Do you know Malachite? Do you know a troll by the name of Malachite? Doesn't ring any bells, I'm afraid. Okay. Sapphire? Do you know a troll named Sapphire? Well, I can't say I do. Hmm. Well, that's not Count von Überwald. Do you know anything about Count von Überwald? Doesn't ring any bells, I'm afraid. Hmm. That doesn't really help. And... Counterweight killings. Do you know anything about the counterweight killings? Sorry, I wouldn't know anything about that. Maybe you're the killer. Um. Can I? Do you know any? Sorry. Oh. I would hope this would go a little bit faster, but. Uh, we still Monday's murder. Can you think of any reason why someone would murder Monday? I didn't think you needed a reason to kill people in Angmore Pork. Everything has a reason. I've never been one for teleology. Don't start. I can do without the philosophy. Suit yourself. So no new things with that. Well. I'm guessing we are done here. So I'll check the Pseudopolis first, then we go to one Überwald mansion. There was something about the way the other members of the Watch looked at me that let me know that no matter how innocent I was, I was still stained with suspicion. Still, I'll take the stains of suspicion over the tarnish of guilt suspicion was easier to wash out. Sometimes I think I'd just give up and crawl inside a whiskey bottle. Except that you can only do that if you are less than one inch high. The man's got a point. Doesn't look like I'm too welcome around here. Of course, I haven't been welcome here since I got kicked off the force, but at least then they just thought I was corrupt. Now they think I'm a murderer. Nah, Luton, you, you've got it all wrong. They don't think you're a murderer. They think... Um, that my personal hygiene is appalling? Uh, no. That I have the Clutchian plague? No. Uh, Face it, they think I'm a murderer. You know, g give me a minute, I'll think of something. Nobby, you've never thought of something printable in your entire life. Why should you start now? Well, well, well. Okay. Can I ask you... What do I want to ask about? Uh, let's start with the counterweight killings. Do you... Do you tell me something more about them? Tell me more about these counterweight killings. I'm not really sure I should, Luton. Sorry. Come on, Nobby. You can trust me. Well... No. Look, Luton, I can't tell you. Why not? Shouldn't I know? It's not to be discussed with anyone who's not part of the case. Ah, I see. Well, that makes sense. Obviously, you wouldn't want people not involved with the case learning about it. Exactly. And I'm the prime suspect in that case, right? Well, you're the prime suspect in the Monday case. But the prime suspect in the counterweight killings is that foreign spy who's been killing all the prominent people. Like that bloke up at Unseen University and that fellow in the Patrician's Palace. Right. Well, I won't ask any more questions then, seeing as how I shouldn't. Thank you, Luton. I appreciate it. Right. Uh, Monday's murder? Am I still prime suspect in Monday's murder? Afraid so. Hmm. Would you happen to know anything about Sapphire? I'm trying to find out why a troll named Sapphire would lie to me. Any thoughts? Can't help you with that, Squire. You're not used to me, Nobby. I'll take a quick break, get something to drink, and then we go to one Überwald mansion. And now back to the Überwald mansion. There it is. There it is. I see Sir has returned. A sir has. Who would Sir like to see? Hmm. 
I'll go see the Count first. Is the Count receiving guests? No. But he will see you. Ah, Luton. I was hoping you would drop by. You don't sound so good, Count. I am not the man I used to be, that is certain. Past my prime, you might say. Yes, past my prime. I could come back later if you want. No, no, there is no guarantee that I will be getting any better. If anything, I might be worse. Your health? <clears throat> we are both men of the world, Mr. Luton. I will not mince words with you. I am dying. I might last another year or so, or I might not last the week. And to think I thought Ankh more pork would be good for my health. Not too many people would believe you, certainly. Let us dispense with the pleasantries and get straight to business. Yes? Yes. Straight to business. Okay. Um, do you know anything about Sapphire? I'm trying to find out why a troll named Sapphire would lie to me. Any thoughts? Please do not waste my time. Fine. Oh, I think I called... Yeah, I... Little bit... Bad. Okay, do you know anything about counterweight killings? Do you know anything about the counterweight killings? Mr. Luton, I couldn't be less interested in the petty crimes of this wretched city. Fine. Oh, he's gonna be happy about this. Do you know anything about the murder of a man named Mundy? Mr. Luton, I couldn't be less interested in the petty crimes of this wretched city. What? He wanted... He wanted to know about Mundy. That makes no sense. I'll be back later. I look forward to it. Maybe after I talk to Carlotta? Then maybe? I see Sir has returned. Sir has? Who would Sir like to see? Carlotta. Is Carlotta home? Alas, no. What a shame that Sir's trip has been wasted. Perhaps Sir would like to leave now. Tell her I called by. Why my loins stir at the very thought of serving you in this way, sir. Uh, too much info about loins. Let's ask. Do you know a woman named Ilsa or... Oh, a... I'm sorry. I cannot assist. No, no, we have asked those, but that, that wasn't my point. Do you know about counterweight killings? Do you know anything about the counterweight killings? I don't know anything about any murders, sir. Mundy? Do you know anything about the murder of a man named Mundy? I don't know anything about any murders, sir. Now we have a problem. Carlotta is not here. I'll check if the if I can talk about Mundy now with the Count, as Carlotta is not here. Let's see. Is the Count receiving guests? No. But he will see you. I've got a few more questions for you, Count. Uh, yes, uh, good questions. Go on. Do I... Oh, I could ask about... No. Wait a minute. Do I have... Let's ask about Mundy's Do you know anything about the murder of a man named Mundy? Mr. Luton. Okay, he's not interested about that at all. Where are... Where's the... Wait a minute. Okay, this notepad thing is a little bit problematic because I want to know where the note that was written on the wall is ah can i do you know anything about the mer okay as you 
Does the word Azeal mean anything to you? Yes. Yes. I remember Azeal. Azeal. The mad Ascari of the Great Neth. He rose to power before even the light dams of Sorka were completed. I remember he used to punish his detractors by burying them upside down in the sand. Do you know, I think he honestly believed they might grow into trees. He was quite, quite mad, you know. Quite mad. How long ago was this? Oh, I don't know. A couple of hundred years ago, at least. You seem to remember it like yesterday. I am an old man. My memory plays tricks. Okay, he remembered something about Azil, if that is what we are looking for, but what would 200 years ago help us? I don't know. Hmm. I could ask about the tooth. I wasn't about to flash the stolen tooth around. Someone might tell Lord Salachi, and the next thing I knew I'd have a blade in my back and a receipt from the Assassin's Guild on my bedside table. That is true. Okay. So we're off. Um, do I want to show the... Hmm. Come on. I see, sir. A sir. Who? I'll ask Carlotta, but Is I... Carlotta home? Alas. What a sh perhaps sir would like to tell her why my loins st Okay, I'll ask about this. If I, I was Okay. Um Do you know about Azeal? Does the word Azeal mean anything to you? A sir has many questions, but alas I have few answers. Right. So this trip was not worth my time. Ah. I could ask Nobby about the Asyl. Uh, Octarin Parent could be one place to go. Cafe Ang. I'll check Luton's office and Rodan's workshop and then probably Octarin Parent because I'm running out of ideas where I should be going. Especially that uh, I can't find. Oh. All I knew about the statue was that it was a work. Okay. Can is there anything I could take? I didn't have any reason to steal Rodin's statue. That almost sounds like you will have a reason to steal it at some point. Can I talk to Mark? Well, I'm back. Let's... Azeal? Does the word Azeal mean anything to you? Find Thurma! Hmm. No. Mundy? Do you know anything about the murder of a man named Mundy? Find Thurma! I'm almost certain we will get the same answers. Um... Uh... Well, Sapphire. I'm trying to find out why a troll named Sapphire would lie to me. Any thoughts? Don't know nothing about that. Hmm. Okay. So. Where do we need to go now? Uh, I guess I need to go through these areas and see what happens. I'll check the war first. Um, is that a different area? Or would that go to the pier? Oh, okay, okay. Um, I don't know. I might ask about the Azil and Mundy's murder. I'm back. Let's have a party. Don't be overjoyed. Uh, counterweight killings. Do you know anything about the counterweight killings? 
That's nothing to do with me. Monday's murder? I think I've found your intruder. Really? He's dead. Somebody murdered him. Good. That's what you get when you break into my warehouse. You realize that makes you a suspect in the investigation? What? Why? You just made a death threat against the man. I think that gives you motive. And I'll bet that no one can confirm your alibi when he was murdered. You... you wouldn't falsely accuse a man like that, would you? Hey, do I look like that kind of guy? Of course not. What did you do that for? You really scared me. That was the idea. Now that the crisis has been averted, would you let me into the warehouse? No. Nope. Okay, scrub the gratitude ploy. Okay, that didn't help. Um, was the Aziel up a little higher? I think it was. Do you know? Nope. Sorry, it's. Uh... Yeah, we already know. You don't know. That was Aziel. Does the word Aziel mean anything to you? That's nothing to do with me. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we are done here then. Oh, I lost my control. Octarine Parrot, back to there. You. Come to persecute me some more, Luton? A man's gotta have a hobby. Let's just talk. So how do you think having a murder in one of your rooms is going to affect business? Pull in the goth crowd, do you think? Shut up, Luton. I don't feel like engaging in small talk. Not with you, anyway. Hmm. So why did you kill Mundy? What? I didn't... You gotta be crazy. Do you have any idea how bad... Why would I... I'd have to be crazy. Vimes told me that you're a son. Yeah. Of course I'm a I'm okay. but all no one trusts us. Now I have a problem. I really don't know what am I missing at the moment. Uh, maybe something in here after all. Bed, bed. Painting. <gasps> That's it. And I think it was this thing I rem missed again last time. I'm almost certain. Uh, so it probably... Okay, I'm gonna check one thing. I put the camera off. Oh yes, quite dark. But you can still basically see. I think that is the thing I need to check. Looking closely at the frayed rope hanging from the rafters, I knew that Mundy had been tied up by the legs and then hung from the ceiling. I didn't know why. Frankly, I wondered if I really wanted to know why. Something very strange was going on. Right, can I do anything with it? I didn't want to tamper with the evidence. Besides, there wasn't enough rope there to do me any good. Okay, so I was missing that. Let no, we, the problem is we need to go and Come talk. Come to persecute me some more, Luton. A man's gotta have a hobby. It might be that thing that I missed last time and apparently missed this time. I found some frayed rope in the rafters of the room where Mundy was killed. Congratulations. What's that got to do with me? I was hoping you could tell me. You're optimistic. Not at all. I figure you'd like me to stop asking you questions. It wouldn't be my first wish, but it'd be in my top ten. Tell me about the rope. Why don't you tell me about the rope? You found it, not me. Mankin wasn't going to risk incriminating himself under any circumstances. Once again, I'd have to worm it out of him. Um. Worm it out of him. Does the word zeal mean anything to you? Leave me alone, Luton. This is species harassment. So I need to do something. Can I give you the... I wasn't about... Okay. I suppressed the urge to ask for money. I was broke. 
Tempting as it was, I decided not to start attacking people with the crowbar. Okay. I suppose I could have asked for some rope, but I still have some pride. Not much, but it was all I had. So... What can I do now? Have you heard of the counter? You mean, have I? If you like, haven't. So why did you kill? What? I did. You got. Do you have any idea? Why would I cause all this? I'd have to be crazy. Why? Yeah. Of course, I, I'm hard. We're always a sus. No one okay. trusts. Nothing new on that. So I'll probably need to go. Hmm. Let's go. Anything in the mausoleum? Hmm. The rubble was deaf, but according to Malachi, anything. I examined the body closely, but all I could see of interest. Okay. Okay, let's go and see if the Überwald Mansion... I see Sir has returned. A sir has. Who would Sir like to see? Because now I have the rope. Is Carlotta home? Alas, no. What perhaps... Tell why my loins... <sighs> okay, let's Is go. Is the Count... No. I've got a few more questions for you, Count. Uh, yes, uh, good questions. Go. I'll ask about the rope. If I don't get anywhere, I... I found some frayed rope near Mundy's body. Any idea what it means? Please do not waste my time. The only person who is interested about the death of Mundy is gone for I now. I see, sir. Sir, ha who would... Hmm... I found some frayed rope near Mundy's body. Any idea what it means? I'm sorry. I cannot assist, sir, in that matter. Okay. Okay. Come on. Well, basically, I probably have to go these places again. I'll go Pseudopolis first. Maybe I can ask about the rope from him and get something. I need your help again, Nobby. Well, okay, I suppose. Rope. I found some frayed rope in the rafters of Mundy's room. Eh, uh, good for you. I thought it might have some bearing on the case. I suppose I should mention it in the file. So there is a file then? Well, not as such. But as soon as there is, I'll be sure to mention it. These little details could clear my name, Nobby. I suppose so. Well, thanks, Nobby. You've been a great help. Just doing my job to the best of my ability. That's what I was afraid of. So nothing. I'll... Does the word zeal mean anything to you? No. Okay. Can I go anywhere else in here? No. Back to my office then? Nothing. I'll probably have to check walkthrough soon. Okay, Rodan's workshop. Um Malachite was actually Malachite was the well. Let's talk about the rope. I found some frayed rope near Mundy's body. Any idea what it means? Don't know nothing about that. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Fine. So, we have Cafe Ank.
and uh, nobody in here am i still missing something from the room apparently can i talk to you i decided not okay so i can't talk to him and um nothing come on So the, he knows something, and we have to do s something that he would open his mouth. Okay, uh, Warf. Still here, not for much. Let's ask about the rope thingy. I found some frayed rope near Mundy's body. Any idea what it means? No use asking me about that shit, mate. <sighs> what about you? I have a few more. You. Did I ask about a zeal? Does I'm the a... word a zeal mean anything to you? That's. I found some frayed rope near Mundy's body. Any idea what it means? Can't help you with that. What am I missing? I have a purse, crowbar, tooth, grappling iron. What can I do with those? Should I keep the grappling iron? All I knew about the Let's see, can I do anything with the this? I wasn't about to smash all I knew Okay, um Come on, open. I wasn't all I knew Right, 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 right. I wasn't Can I keep the crappling who back to Malachite? I wasn't about to hand the grapple back to Malachite without a reason. Fine. Fine. Malachite fine. was actually... Come on. Uh, can I give the... I wasn't about... <sighs> hmm... Based upon the real truth, the king... Learn the ancient mystic art of the Path of the Scorpion. Unique mail order lessons on this famous self-defense method. By Grand Master Lobsang Dibbler. Missing. Small dog. Answers to the name of Mr. Huggy. Based upon the real truth, the king of Ankh quells most boring play. Right. So stage, 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 and come on. What am I missing? Oh, bloody hell! No, it was the boots I've been missing. Nothing. There should have been something in the boots, only there wasn't. I was pretty sure that the watch didn't search them, and that didn't leave many options. Mundy's killer had tied his legs together with my rope. It was bad enough that he stole my rope without implicating me in a gruesome murder at the same time. So... Nothing. There I was... Okay, okay. Uh, Monday Scops, Monday's Boots, Frayed Rope, Message in Blood. Let's see if that helps. 
So you probably stole something from the boot. Come I to think. persecute me some more, Luton. A man's gotta have a hobby. Can I talk to you about anything? So why did you what? I didn't you gotta be do you have any idea? Why would I cause all I'd have to be Vimes to <laughs> Of course I'm half L, nope. but always nope. a s nope. no one <sighs> So I have seen mon so how do you think having a murder in one of your rooms is going to affect business? Pull in the goth crowd, do you think? Shut up, Luton. I don't feel like engaging in small talk. Not with you, anyway. Okay, I'll, I'll have to check what am I missing at the moment. Be right back. I didn't know you can do these things. Let's see how this works. I'm kicking myself. It was so easy. Um, now I have the clue. Active. I'll put it on the Monday's boots. The frayed rope in the rafters was the same as the rope around Monday's legs. The rope that used to be tied to the grapple. That had to mean that Mundy was hung upside down and then killed. And that meant someone cut him down after he was killed. Curiouser and curiouser. You see, this is the problem. I didn't realize you can... Mundy's killed. It was bad enough. Uh, you can com use notebooks things. I've learned... Come on. Uh, on the world because this is probably the first time and now we know Monday hung upside down finally we can say it's 3712V not Azil they say that the universe is full of particles called inspirations one of them hit me at that moment because I suddenly realized something that should have been obvious. If Mundy was hung upside down, and if Mundy wrote the message, then the message was upside down. Turning it around in my head, I could see that it read 3712V. It wasn't a meaningless word after all. It was a meaningless combination of letters and numbers instead. Somehow that seemed much, much worse. Finally progress. Still, I don't know what that helps, but we will... Uh... Yeah, that's the first time when you... I don't know if the manual mentioned it, but... Again, it's been a while since I played, so I didn't realize you can use notebook clues in the real world to get new clues. But anyway, let's go and talk Mankin if you can now. Come to persecute the yes, 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 I have new things to ask about you. Uh, Monday hung upside down. I've been thinking hard about Monday's death and there's something that doesn't add up. Oh, enthrall me with your erudite wisdom, great one. When Mundy was killed, he was hanging from the ceiling, but when the watch turned up, he was on the ground. Maybe the killer cut him down when he was dead. I don't think so. I think that message was written by Mundy, and I don't think the killer saw him write it, which means someone must have cut him down. Which means... Somebody who was in that room cut Mundy down. I don't think it was the killer, and I know it wasn't me. What are you getting at? You cut him down, didn't you? Why should I tell you? I've already told you, I don't think the killer would have cut him down. Which means if you cut him down, you're in the clear. All right, yes, yeah, so I cut him down. Happy now? Why? Not everything has a reason, Luton. But people can usually find reasons for what they do. Well, draw your own conclusions. I was missing something, but I couldn't see what. Monday's boots, because fortunately we checked the Monday's boots, something is missing from there. I don't know how the Luther knows, but he knows, and that guy must have it. You cut down Monday so you could search him, didn't you? What are you suggesting? 
Nothing worse than the truth. You're a liar and a thief. All right, Luton. What is it you want? What have I got to do to get you to leave? Just give me what you found in Mundy's boot, and I'll leave you alone. Here. You want it? Have it. It's worthless anyway. What is it? How the hell should I know? Now, I kept my end of the bargain. You keep yours. Leave me alone. We'll see, Mankin. I figure I owe you at least one lie. Get out, Luton. In my own time, Mankin had given me a small coin. But it wasn't any type of coin I recognized. I guess I should be grateful to the half-elf for keeping the clue away from the watch. But frankly, I just didn't like the little weasel. Okay, now we have something. We have... The only time I saw Mundy, he was playing with this coin. A metallic flat disc with a square hole in the center. The coin had markings on one side that I couldn't read. It wasn't from any nation I'd ever heard of. What did you find out about Mundy's coin? It's bad enough that you've stolen it from me without me sharing everything I learned with you. You didn't learn anything, did you? That's not strictly true. You learned it wasn't worth anything. If it had been, do you think I'd have given it to you? Okay, fair enough. Whew, finally, that was... Yeah, I can't remember if the... Manual ever told. Most likely... Probably told I should actually check but that's nothing on either there so yeah you can combine uh, things in the notepad to in the real life and I think that was the part where I was stuck when I played in PlayStation partly because I co couldn't see the boots because it was so dark you need to see the boots so you can make the conclusion Huh. But anyways, now we have the number. The, the annoying part, you can't see the number. You know it's the number. But you can't tell your character that's that's a number. Uh, who would know about numbers? Maybe we can see Carlotta now. Or we could ask about count. We could ask for the uh, from the count about the coin. I see, sir. The sir hath. Who would? Let's start with the count and ask Is about the count received coin. But I've got a few more questions. Ah, go. Because he knows things about. I had a feeling that Mundy's coin was important, and I wasn't about to show it to just anyone. Oh. Well, let's hope Carlotta is there. I see, sir. The sir who? Carlotta? Is Carlotta home? Alas, no. What a shame that Sir's trip has been wasted. Perhaps Sir would like to leave now. Tell her I called by. Why, my l Okay, so... We could go and ask about Monday hung upside down from the Count, but... He is not interested about Monday's killing, although he wanted us to report what happens with Monday. Um, okay, so let's check if something Somehow, happened. Somehow, I wasn't surprised to find Al Kali waiting for me in my office. In my head was a list of suspects for killing Monday, and Al Kali had gone straight in at number one. Mr. Luton, I am so pleased to see you. The feeling's not mutual, Alkali. What do you want? All in good time, Mr. Luton. Why do I get a feeling that Alkali isn't your real name? It's not very dwarfish. My name is of little consequence, Mr. Luton, and the story of how I acquired it will have to wait for another time. Now, if you'll excuse me. Now, why would you want to carry an axe? To hack at people, Mr. Luton. An axe is the weapon of choice for a dwarf, you should know that. Why kill me now? What's the point? I'm not planning to kill you, Mr. Luton. I merely need the axe as a deterrent should you wish to try something foolish. I don't try foolish things. Sometimes they just happen. 
Then I suggest you don't let them happen now. When you've finished searching me, I know a nice restaurant we can go to. So, you have been a busy man, Mr. Lewton. I think you'd better come with me. Is there an alternative? That would depend on how attached you are to your arms and legs, and how much you want them to remain attached to you. I didn't know where Al Kali was taking me, but I was now sure he wasn't going to kill me. He could have done that in my office, and it would have been days before anyone found the body. No, he wanted me for something. I just didn't know what. I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting to be taken to see a troll. I've seen some unusual things in my life, but a troll and a dwarf working together? <sighs> that was something else. Ankh Morpork wasn't hot at that time of year. But the big troll was sitting back in a wicker chair being fanned. Smart. Out of the cold of the mountains, overheating of their silicon brains was the reason for the trademark stupidity of the trolls. I'd have to watch my step with this one. Al Kali had a brief whispered conversation with the troll, but I couldn't make out what was said. At one point, I thought I heard Al Kali mention a coin from Sorta, but the rest was a mystery. Mr. Luton. So glad you would come and join us, and so punctually, too. Yes, I know you were escorted by Mr. Alcali here, but the fact that you arrived on time shows that you didn't put up any show of resistance, which means you're intelligent enough to realize that we are not your enemies. And since we are not enemies, there is always the possibility that we might be friends. You are a quiet man? No, I like to talk, but I like to dance, too. And the trick in both is knowing when to lead and when to follow. Excellent, sir. Excellent. I distrust a quiet man. He generally picks the wrong time to talk and says the wrong things. A talking is something you cannot do judiciously unless you keep in practice. I'll tell you right out. I'm a troll who likes talking to people who like to talk. What shall we talk about? What indeed do friends talk about? Most friendships don't start out with one of the friends being led around by an axe-wielding dwarf. While we're at it, most people know the names of their friends. Of course, how impolite of me. Mr. Alcali, I believe you already know. And my name is Jasper Horst. Perhaps you've heard of me. I have a bad memory for names. It gets me into a lot of trouble. You have a bad attitude as well. That also gets you into trouble. Now, now, Mr. Alcali. It doesn't do to slander a guest, especially one whom you hope to count among your friends. Well... This is interesting. Let's just discuss normally first. So, if we're friends, I guess Al Kali's warning about staying off the Mundy case was just a friendly warning. Ah, straight to the point. I do admire a man who avoids skirting the issues. Such a man makes an excellent politician, but is almost impossible to trust. Well, sir, it seems you are now in the possession of something that we would like. And what might that be? Uh, come now, sir. There's no need to play coy. We know you were the last person Monday saw, and we know you have the coin from Sorter. Uh, frankly, sir, we know you have the golden sword, and we wish to make an offer for it. What if I told you it wasn't for sale? Uh, don't be tedious, Mr. Luton. We obviously know that you are in the employ of Carlotta. Hence, we know that you have a price. Whatever she is offering you, we can safely offer double. And unlike Carlotta, I am a troll of my word. What if she's offering me something that you can't match? You don't strike me as a man who would fall for Carlotta's move, sir. You strike me as a man with better judgment than that. Are you loyal to Carlotta? I am loyal to one person and one person alone. Me. That's wonderful. I do like a man who isn't afraid to tell you that he is looking after himself. We're all looking after ourselves. Indeed, sir. Indeed. And I don't trust a man who says he's not. I just realized uh, I haven't read it totally, but this reminds me of story Maltese Falcon, which is a Nor Nor story, if I remember correctly. Hmm. Anyways, trust. Trust seems very important to you, Horst. Indeed. Without trust, we are no better than barbarians. It is the capacity for trust that sets the humans, trolls, dwarfs and such above the lesser animals. That and our capacity for cruelty. What a dark outlook you have, sir. Are you a pessimist? 
Pessimism is a term used by optimists to attempt to discredit those who see the world as it really is. You are a man of the world, sir. I like that about you. Okay. Uh, golden sword. Tell me about the golden sword, Horst. Carlotta didn't tell you what it was? Horst seemed to think I knew things that I didn't, and that could give me the advantage. I decided it was time for a good bluff. She told me, but I took it for granted she was lying. A not injudicious thing to do. Payment. Let's cut to the chase. How much will you pay me for the sword? Suffice it to say, I will pay you its value. That doesn't give me much to go on. You will appreciate, sir, that a golden sword like that is a difficult artifact to sell. Indeed, you would draw a lot of attention were you to attempt to do so. I will offer you what the sword is worth, and that, I can assure you, is more than Carlotta is offering you. I could use a figure. I don't like to commit myself to fixed fees. Those who set exact price tags leave themselves no room to negotiate when the circumstances change. Rest assured that it will exceed $10,000 at the least. 10000 eh? I'll think about it. Uh, before we stop, uh, obviously I want to ask everything. Does 3712V mean anything to you? The sir. Let us not stray from the matters in hand. Hmm, that, to be honest, wasn't something I was going to ask, but... Hmm, fine. Let's go... Well, as ill, we don't need to ask about that. Monday. What do you know about the circumstances of Monday's murder? A strange question, sir, but you have your reasons, I'm sure. I must say I was impressed. That disguising the murder as a counterweight killing was clever. But knocking yourself out after the murder was a masterstroke. A gamble, certainly. But the greater the risk, the greater the reward. Right. Um, Carlotta? What exactly is your connection with Carlotta? She didn't mention me to you? I'm not surprised. Carlotta is a model for deception. Never tell the truth when a lie will do. As for her connection with me, she and I are associates. That doesn't tell me much. Alas, sir, you are right. But what it tells, it tells accurately. And that should make up for the deficit of information conveyed. That troll is quite elaborate. Let's ask about Alkali. Does Alkali work for you? Mr. Alkali and I have a complicated working relationship. He and I have been associates for some time. Mm-hmm. And... Malachite? Do you know a troll by the name of Malachite? I cannot say I have made their acquaintance. Ilsa and two conquers? Do you know a woman named Ilsa or a man named two conquers? I cannot say I have made their acquaintance. Fine, fine, fine. Counterweight killings, do you know anything about those? Can you tell me anything about the counterweight killings? I had assumed you would know more than I, sir. I know only what I've heard. That there is a spy from the counterweight continent in Ankh-Morpork, and that he is killing people in a manner that is both striking and extravagant. Fine. Uh, Sapphire. I'm trying to find out why a troll named Sapphire would lie to me. Any thoughts? The Comser, let us not stray from the matters in hand. So, do you know anything about Count von Überwald? Do you know anything about Count von Uberwald? I trust you are not trying to confuse me, Mr. Luton. No, not at all. So I'm guessing we've asked about everything. He actually thinks we have an, the sword. Yeah, if I remember correctly, Maltis Falcon starts quite similarly like this that a lady comes to a PI's office and uh, wants to get something to find basically they are trying to find a Maltese falcon I think it's a statue I might be wrong again I haven't read it I know there's few movie adaptations from it and the only version I've actually read it is a Donald Duck version <laughs> but yeah that's it that associates. So Carlotta's an associate, 
and Alkali's an associate. You still haven't told me what you mean by associate, though. Let's just say that the three of us share a common goal. Um. A beautiful glitter. Oh. I tried not to think more in. Yep, yep, yep. Um, I don't think that's all for now. Well, it's been nice talking to you, Horst, but I have other things to do. I trust you will keep in touch, sir. I look forward to hearing your decision. You're letting him go? Come now, Mr. Alcali. Mr. Luton is our friend and associate. He is free to come and go as he pleases. I'll let you know what I decide, Horst. But of course, goodbye, Mr. Luton. For now. I was starting to piece together what was going on. Whatever this sword was, it was clear that Mundy brought it into town with him on the Milka. I guess he was the courier. For who, wasn't clear. He must have hidden it in one of the crates on the Milka, and then broken into the warehouse to recover it. Only the watchman stopped him before he could retrieve it. None of which told me where the sword was. Or even what the sword was. One thing was clear. I needed to talk to Carlotta. Okay. Yeah, and... Uh, in that story also... Oh, there's the host quarters. Um, uh, multiple people are after the same thing and things get convoluted and complicated. Anyways, I'll jump to the Luton's office because I think this is the end of this episode and next episode we will go and see a Carlotta and finally maybe some answers? Probably not because we are still in Act 2 and we need to get to the, at least to Act 4. So anyways, I hope you enjoy, enjoyed this episode and I will see you next time. Until then, goodbye.